Hi, in this video I'll be creating a developable surface as a roof on a sort of imaginary building. Okay, so let's go to my Rhino screen. Here's my Rhino screen. And in order to create that roof, let's create sort of a rectangular organizational rectangular geometry here by creating the very first point. So come over to here, create my construct point. And this point is going to be creating my points on this roof structure, let's say. So if I create this point and on Y coordinate, what we are seeing now, Y is this coordinate, X is this coordinate. So if I pull out the series here, and then if I grab like, let's say every 25 centimeters, let's say we have 100, Lines. And if I put this here, you see what I'm having is this is my points right now. All right. And what I can do next is I can move these points onto Y direction, right? On Y direction. And say, okay, like I don't know, like let's say 10 meters. And you see, when I decrease this, it's increasing, increase this, increasing. We can say, okay, like maybe smaller than this. This is all completely, completely parametrically modeled. Then if we create a line based on these two guys here, and then if I loft them, what I'll be seeing is I'll be seeing sort of a surface, right? But to make this a developable surface, what I need to do is I need to, as it goes to here, it needs to really go up something like this. Maybe it can be a good example here. Okay, but it's going to be a parametrically modeled. So if I love these two together, and if I pay, put this into shaded mode, if I flip this, you see, I'm looking, trying to create something like this and how I can do that. So what I'll be doing is in the next phases of this video, what I'll be doing is I can go in the both direction. I can move the points up and down or I can rotate these curves. So let's rotate these curves this time because we haven't seen that. So what I'm going to do is this time, it's sort of a mathematical equation. I need to know how many lines I'm having so that I can divide the number of lines with 90 or I will divide 90 degrees with the number of curves I have so that each and every step I will have rotation increment. So what I'm seeing here line and it says 100 lines. So what I'm seeing here is 100. What I can do here is I can grab division component 90 is my degree to divide or let's say 360 okay and then it's going to be divided by 100 and this is my increment right so if i create a new series now this value is going to be my stepping value and this value 100 is going to my value to rotate right as you see here and it starts with zero so it's actually going to 350 356.4 so what i can do for the count i can add one more to this so that we always see the last one as well so i will add one with panel because I want this to be a static value. Connect it over here. And then what I'll be saying is, okay, these are my starting points, right? So I wanted to rotate my lines on the starting point. So I'll grab a rotate rotation component. This is my rotation geometries. And the angle is gonna be this guy, but let's define the planes first. So if I just rotate this on XY plane, they are going to be turning and rotating on this particular screen. But what I need is I need to rotate them on 
y z plane so i need to go to vector and plane and y z plane and if i grab my points here these points are going to be my plane so i can connect it over here and you see they are all going up and if i grab a radiance here and connect it over here what i'm seeing is this funky geometry that is waving all over the place starting from here goes to 90 comes back goes to 90 comes back and so on and so forth and if i like why i don't why don't we preview this all off and if we love this Uh, okay, why they are not being lofted? Loft cannot be calculated somehow. Oh, because you see, we have a duplicate here. And the reason why we have the duplicate there, because we have, like, we have 100 geometries, but we have 101. So what I'll be doing, it's going to be a really easy fix. I'll be connecting this to here and then finishing off the problem. So you see, this is sort of a, like, this is not the main roof that I was talking about, but when we put this in, let's check, take a look at it on a rendered view, but we don't see it quite well in the rendered view. Something like this, not sure. Yeah, or artistic or sorry, Arctic. Yeah, the plane underneath that makes it invisible so this is also looking well so if i make this 90 you see it's a it's a rotation of the like the completely horizontal to completely vertical but let's say if we put 180 you see it starts like this and ends like this so this is kind of a roof that i was talking about in which we are creating this by using the value so if i increase the number decrease the number it's all being changed uh, you are completely in the control of this like parametric groove structures however you name it but you see they are all incremental now so they're going really up and down up and down up and down fashion and if you increase this you see we are creating this kind of a kind of a uh, let's say structure. So I'll be saving this. I'll be I'll be stopping this video here because, as I said, this is all incremental, and the uh, and the and this is all incremental. Everything is being repeated as a pattern. But what would happen if you want to do something a bit more or slightly more? Uh, simple than this one and we'll check that or we'll see that in the next video.